Uh, good morning to the both of you. Greetings from beautiful Toronto. <laughs> good morning. Hey, I too am in Toronto, Bonnie. So hello from we're, across the lake. I was going to say, we're probably like right around the corner from each other. <laughs> right. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you. I can see you across the 401. Hi. <laughs> um, congratulations to the two of you on this. Okay, I'm still cooling myself off. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Stacey, I was wondering, you know, this is based on B.B. Easton's self-published memoir. What was it when you read it or you first heard about it and you thought this is going to make a great series? Yeah, so I connected very personally with the idea of a wife and mom who can't help but wonder where that other girl went, her single girl from those fabulous single girl in the city days and, um, and really longing for that time and, and who she was at that time. Mm -hmm. um, and so what was exciting to me was a chance to create a show that is this nostalgia fueled sparkly fever dream version of those single girl days on the town and and the best sex you ever had and the impossibly sexy men you had it with mm -hmm. um but that is also rooted in this deeper exploration of what happens to us as we grow up and become allegedly responsible grown-ups <laughs> and all the things that we are expected to give up along the way and it's really a chance to sort of answer that age old question. Can you have it all? Absolutely. And Miles, for you, I'm wondering what I love about this series is that we get the female point of view. Uh, we don't get to see that very often in anything that we watch. It's always, you know, male centric about how they feel about sex. What was it for you? Um, was that something that no pun intended? Was that something <laughs> that excited you? <laughs> Well, and it continues to, yes. Well, in reality, you know, I read the book and uh, I thought there were some interesting ideas in it, but I really thought that um, it, it could go much deeper. And I thought, okay, I've got this book in my hands. I have to get it into the hands of a very smart woman. So <laughs> Stacy and I met, we talked about it and, and, you know, the show is very much evolved from, from the book. Yeah. But yeah, it, it absolutely had to be told from uh, a female perspective um, because typically those kinds of stories are not. And, and you know, right the way through, uh, we wanted it to be all women. It's all female directors. Yes. And uh, obviously, you know, Sarah as Billy at the center of it and best friend who she confides in and Sasha. So, you know, I think, you know, and Stacy gave it that authenticity that, you know, um, I don't think a male writer could ever give it. And that's what's important to the show. Yeah, we have Patricia Rosima who directed a couple of the episodes. So it's so exciting. We love her here in Canada, of course. Um, <laughs> I, I got to say, um, when you have, you know, you have your, your actors, they're not going into this blind. They know what they're, they're up against and what they have to do. Um, and of course, you know, you pick gorgeous people to star in this, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hello, but how do you make them feel comfortable? Tell me a little bit about the um, intimacy coordinator, because I find that yeah. fascinating. You have, you know, Sarah, who has to be have this relationship with these two different guys and have it you know it's it's fascinating to me yeah for sure well we were very specific on the page you know and this is something that I hear from from other actors that isn't always the case you know people get embarrassed and so when they get to that moment in the script then they write and then they have sex and then it's sort of up to the actors to maybe improvise it or work it out with the director. And this was the total opposite of that. So it was very specifically written on the page because every scene really is about the story and revealing character and what's happening, you know, in that moment. And then, yeah, so we had all female directors and, and, and we rehearsed a lot, you know, and, um, and Casey, our intimacy coordinator was so much a part of that. And um, really just having, sort of frank conversations about what we're trying to say with each scene, you know, and, um, but making sure that everybody felt safe and, and comfortable was of course, you know, paramount to that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, congratulations on this. And Miles, of course, you know, thank you for shooting this in Toronto. We love that you keep bringing us these great movies and series. It's gotta be so important to you to be able to shoot at home. Well, I've got a lot of hometown pride and I also like sleeping in my own bed. So it's, uh, <laughs> not, not without my own uh, uh, sort of uh, benefit. 
<laughs> I, listen, I hear you for sure. Congratulations to the two of you. Best of luck with the series. Thank and, you. Uh, Oh, fingers crossed for season two. I'm already waiting for it. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. Thank you so Perfect. much.